you know what time it is. Black Bandana. Two black MMA journalists. It's time for Black Market Picks. Yeah. Here we are, UFC Shanghai China edition. I don't even feel like doing the Black Market Picks for this show. But here we are doing Black Market Picks at the uh, behest of Travis Clark. You can thank him. I didn't even feel motivated to do this today. This card is so much booty. Um, I heard him calling this the uh, card of uh, sacrifices uh, on um, the MMA Vivid section. Probably right. Should be a lot of blowouts here. Let's get in and out of this thing. Price ranges for this week are the top tier. We got 9.3 to 8.6. Mid tier is 8.5 to 7.7. And bottom tier is 7.6 to 6.9K. All right, guys. Let me get my timer out. And we're going to get right into this thing. Got to get the timer out. Got to get uh, get my prices set right. Let's see here. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let's get started. Now, my number one overall play in the top tier is... Of course, Kelvin Gaslam. He should beat the hell out of Michael Bisping. Bisping's eye is bad. His eye is bad. He just got beat up like 21 days ago. He shouldn't be fully recovered. Um, I see the beat down here. This 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 fight has beat down written all over it. And uh, I'm going to be all over Kelvin Gaslam in this one. My number two overall play in this price range is going to be Surreal Asker. I think this uh this guy he's facing, uh Hugh, is a brawler. I don't think he has much skill. And I don't think Aslan Asker is the greatest, but I think he's skilled enough to take out Hugh. I just think he's gonna take it down and find the submission here. The level of competition he's been facing is much higher than uh, what he's faced uh what he's facing here in this brawler. Even though the brawler is training the Jacksons, my number three overall play. And this price range is going to be Bobby Nash. I like Bobby Nash. I think he's got a lot of wrestling upside side here. And um, that's where Keenan Song struggles. So I think Bobby Nash, uh, he might make his way onto a winning lineup, depending on how the success of the dogs. Um, Travis, what's your, what's your uh, top tier looking like? Number three, I have Zabit Magomed Sharifov. Um Against Shaman Marais, he was a decent prospect. I think his only loss was to Marlon Marais. But um, I like Zabit. He had a, a very impressive debut. Oh, my goodness. It was so impressive. And I think this fight is probably um, closer than what the odds may indicate. However, I do think that Zabit is, is, is better everywhere. And possibly I look for him to actually finish it in the second round. Um, probably by submission. But I like Zabit based on his, and he has so much potential in the UFC. Um, number two is going to be... Um, what's his name? Muslim Salikov? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's yeah, the one Muslim. Alex Garcia. The one face Alex Garcia. Um, he's a, a, a Wushu signing or something like that champion. Something like that. I know Wushu Sanda. Yeah, yeah, Wushu Sanda champion. I think he's the first non Chinese champion at that in, in that term in terms of that um style. Um Alex Garcia, I guess I see a lot of people touting him as a dog play, which I can see it because of the wrestling, but I can't trust anybody that has gas tank issues as Alex Garcia has been known to to have. And um, Salikov, his striking is world class, and I look for after the first round, which might get a little sketchy, to take it over in the second round and possibly finish him with the spinning back wheel kick, which he's finished two opponents with. Uh, and number three is, I mean, my number one overall player is going to have to be a Bobby Nash. I'm going to have him everywhere. He has D1 wrestling, which Song struggles with. He has a mean left hook. I This is a, honestly a slam dunk match. I don't know how he can upset us again for the third time. But, but I mean, he had uh, two tough matches the first time as well. But he looked good in all first round of, in the first round of both of those fights. So, I mean, he definitely has potential. But that's my top tier right there. So, you are, who's your number three pick? I mean, number one Number pick? three was Zabit. Was no, Zabit. number one. Number one. Oh, number one was Bobby Nett. Bobby Nett. Okay, there we go. I just want to make sure he's already on there. All right, in the mid tier, we've got 8.5 to a 7.8K, I assume. Well, no, 7.7K. Oh, my top overall play in the mid tier is going to be Agena Mazzani. 
Um, I believe her opponent is very underwhelming. Mazzani should be dependent on her wrestling to get this one. Chinese fighters are extreme. Her her opponent, especially her wrestling, is just atrocious. So I really like uh, Mazzani in this spot. Um, Kaylin Coran is going to be my number two overall play. I think that she's better technically everywhere than uh, uh, Zion Yan. And, um, I mean, I can't trust her, but I just think she has the technical advantage everywhere and should win this fight. Number three overall play is her opponent, Yan Zion Um Can't trust Kaylin Coran, so you got to have both. And this is this should be like a fight of the night candidate. I, honorable mention to Wang Guan versus Alex Caceres. He's 19 and 1. He's a hell of a fighter. Um, I wish I could fit him in if I had another spot. But Wang Guan is going to be one of my key plays on the night, too. So, honorable mention to him. What's your mid tier look like, Javas? Um, my mid tier number three is going to have to be, unfortunately, G- Gina Mazzani. Um, she's not very good. She made a uh, certain man look very elite. But um, in this case, in this, in this matchup, she should have the wrestling advantage uh, I, I i really wanted to be on her opponent but after further looking into it i'm gonna have to say gina mazani might be a low on play that could actually pan out um number two i'm gonna have to give it to um um the guy wang guan um facing alice caceres um this guy he's definitely impressive his level of competition has been um decent and like stellar as well as compared to his chinese counterparts in this card and uh, Alex Caceres, you know, he's inconsistent. When he's on, he's on. And this fight will be close. But I think um, Wang Guan could could uh, beat him standing and, and, and make him look bad, make Alex Caceres look bad. Um, we'll, we'll have to see what happens, though. This is definitely a, a key fight. It's probably underrated the target as well. That's, it could probably end up in a finish. That's what I'm seeing right now. And um, number one is going to have to be um, Kaylin Coran's opponent, Xiao Nan. I don't know. I'm not Chinese. However, you fade Kaylin Coran. She, she, oh my God. It's like her fight IQ is terrible. And I, at the first sight of struggle, she just shuts down. She just stops fighting physically. And I mean, uh, the, the other girl, Xiao Nan, she's doing her camp at, um, I believe she's doing her camp at uh, Jackson Week with, along with other Chinese fighters. But uh, it's, it's mainly a fade on Kaylin Coran, but Xiao Nan has, has some talent as well. She definitely has talent as well. But Fade Kellen Coran. That's what you do. Ah, here he goes again with that. It's going to cost you some fade money, him. guys. He tried to this fade Nick Andre Lentz. Vlosky. He faded Andre Vlosky. Disastrous. This is Andre Vlosky. He's still Travis be on that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up in the bottom tier, my number one overall play down here is going to be Bandai Kandare. That's my number one guy. He's uh, got great wrestling. He's been quite active over the last many years, but... He's a top-level wrestler, and he's going up against a guy whose biggest struggle, he's got great striking. Ya Dong Song has great striking, but his wrestling is booty. So I, I expect Kondoi to get it to the ground and keep it to the ground. He's a top-level wrestler. He's the first Indian-born fighter to ever fight on the UFC card. Not the first Indian. It goes to Arjan Bueller. But, uh, yeah, I don't like his striking, but I don't think his opponent can hurt him. And so I like uh, I like Kondoi in that spot. My number two overall play is going to be one Alex Garcia. Really liking Alex Garcia. Um, Muslim Salikov is a Wushu Sanda champion. What does that have to do with grappling? Absolutely nothing. Um, I don't know where his uh, they, they, Salikov's grappling is, but that being that's that, why that's why I like Garcia. So uh, he this is going to be a great test for Salikov because he should he should win in striking. But what what about if Garcia gets it to the ground? And Garcia is a very powerful grappler. That's the little. What about um, that gas? Uh, I'm what not worried. If he takes the first two rounds, what will it matter? Especially if he's on top of you. And my number three overall play is going to be uh, Hugh Yao Zong against Surreal Asker. I guess Asker is the best guy in the world. I don't really like this pick at all. But um, if anybody's going to win you a GPP, it's the Brawling Yang Yao Zong. So, yeah, very underwhelming. Maybe I should have went with Zach Otto. I don't have much confidence in him. But Travis, top three. My top three. 130 three left. 130 to, left. It's going to have to be Hu Yao Zong. Um, he's not very good. However, he is durable. And Surreal Asker is bad. And he, and he does like to brawl. 
and I think he also has a, a, a miniature wrestling background as well. At least that's what I've seen. But um, number three, just for the fact that Cyril Lester is bad, number two is going to have to be Michael Bisping. I actually think Michael Bisping is going to win this match. Kevin Gastelum, who is he really beating in the middleweight division? Who is yes. he really beating in the middleweight division? What, Vito Belfort and Anderson and, and, and who and who else? Tim Kennedy? I don't, I don't, I, I think Bisping's going to come get it done and two week notice and short notice. Michael Bisping. We know, we know what Bisping you. does on short notice. And um, number one is going to have to be Barat Kandare. The wrestling is going to be the key to this fight. His striking is dog crap, but his wrestling is superior. And I look for him to get a slam finish. I like a slam finish of, of, of Ken and Song here. I like that play that you, that you want. Kandare is definitely number one. I think it wins. Yeah. Um, Bisping, though, baby. Bisping. Stay away from that, Michael Bisping. Michael Bisping is boote. Anyway, that does it for Black Market Picks. We uh we beat the mark for by about 30 seconds this week. Awesome. He's got one eye, and he just got beat up like three weeks ago by somebody that's not as fast as He doesn't Kelby have Alpha. any more pressure on him now. There's no pressure no more. Michael Bisping was never the real 185 champ. What are you talking about pressure? What do you mean? He was a He's champ. Losing. He beat Luke Rockhold. What do you mean? Man, get the fuck out of here. He was never the. He's like, he's like Dest, the Destiny champ or something like that, man. Michael Bisping oh is boo boo. You are disrespectful. It's over, man. It was a Michael nice Bisping story. is a Hall of Famer. He's a he Hall is. Of Famer. He's a great story, but it's time and to get beat up. Who is beat at 185? Tell me his opponent. Here comes another nobody, him. Michael Bisping, because <sighs> Michael Bisping is trash. Anyway, um. That does it for Black Market Picks. If you want the full analysis, go on to uh, MMA Edge Fantasy Podcast, School of Black Negro Jiu-Jitsu. Go enroll. It's free, but we are out of here for this week, guys. Peace.